Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. Today is a more traditional episode of Monster Train. That's right, it is 3.30 a.m. Yeah, you know. I had a project due today, and I spent a lot of my day today watching a green bar fill up, waiting for it to let me work on the project and turn it in. It, uh, we got it in on time. It's not my greatest work, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm not too upset about it. We, we got it done at the end of the day. We got to refine it for next week, but that's a problem for me like four days from now to work on. How you doing? Hope you're hanging in there. I'm doing fine. I'm, I haven't been tired lately, so I don't really remind recording this late at night. I haven't been tired, and when I say that, I mean like, I've been, I've been having trouble getting to sleep at like 5 a.m., I, last night I was actually just laying awake for an hour even though I laid down. Usually when I lay down I just fall right asleep. So, you know, it wasn't cool. Uh, anyway, let's play Monster Train, shall we? I think we shall. Uh, fights in tight spaces should start going up today, hopefully. I was going to put it up today, which is yesterday, but I was busy today, which is yesterday. So it should be going up today, which is today. And if that sentence didn't make any sense to you, uh, it's because me right now is in the past and I'm talking about tomorrow me. But for you, tomorrow me is today me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Maybe you don't. Yeah, it should go up today for you. Uh, tomorrow for me, but today for you. Got it? Got it. I'm also, um, I finally, uh, finally decided what I want to do for... Uh, I guess, not really. I, I have an idea of what I want to do for some team fight tactics content finally. I've just I didn't want to upload just pure gameplay because it's kind of weird. So keep your eye out for that if you're interested as well. I'm gonna probably start working on it after I record this honestly since I'm not going to bed for the next two hours anyway. Uh, anyway, anyway, let me ask you today's monstertrain.com question and we can begin. This is the uh, every now and then so when I look for questions, I kind of spend some time just kind of scrolling through the internet and see what strikes me. And this is a question that is kind of unrelated to me as a person, but I still feel like I should ask it. And again, in all of my time doing content, I've definitely talked about this topic before, but I have no idea if I've talked about it as a YouTube comment question. But I want to know if you like sushi, and if so... What's your favorite kind of sushi? I personally, I've had sushi probably twice in my life. We went to a sushi bar for my friend's 18th birthday when we were in high school. And I didn't dislike it. Like, it was fine. But I really did not get the hype. Because I feel like people love sushi. And I, I ate it. And I went, yeah, it's fine. I got like, I think it was salmon over rice or something like that. I don't know what they call it. N nigiri? Maybe? I'm not sure. It, like, it seems like a very aesthetic food. It also seems like a very expensive food. But, I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't strike me, I guess. I, I want to try it again, though. I've been feeling it lately. I want to try it again. Because I feel like maybe I was just a fool five years ago, or however long it's been. Five years ago? Six years ago? It was a while. Somewhere around there. Anyway. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me tell me about sushi. What do you like? I feel like a lot of people really love it, so I should get some good takes on it. I don't necessarily dislike it, if I, uh, but I don't really like it. It was just like, it's fine. I wouldn't eat it again. Anyway, Explosive Sigil, Daedalus. Darkness Arcus, Chase Seraph. Sharp and Fortify, Bramble Lack. Great game for me to play Spike Sentient until we get to Chase Seraph. And it's not so great. This is a good question here. Do you take Wing Steel or Guild Marker? I'm gonna pretend like I'm a more analytical gamer, since we're on a seven seven banger here. Here's your question. Do I feel like I am going to get enough value out of Guild Marker to give up plus one draw? Let's think about our plus one draw. We have two fortifies for plus one draw, and then I have to pick some minus ones. The deck's kind of on the heavy side, though. I'm leaning towards Guild Marker. The problem with Guild Marker is Animus of Will doesn't need infusion or doesn't need upgrades that badly. So 
I don't need guild marker as desperately, but I think it's good for making my restores and my torches better. I'm, I'm talking myself into it. I'm gonna take it. No spikes? Look. Well, last time we played it, I did not like explosive. I'm going to play cultivating. Today would be a great day to see Steel Singer. Today would be an exceptionally good day to see, see Steel Singer. See Steel Singer. Uh, we're weak. We have cultivating. Uh, also, one thing I should have thought about with wing steel there is if we take cultivating or not. I can kill the five ones with porch, so I'm okay to take plus four. I am going to try to lean into cultivating sentient. I'm a long time well known cultivating sentient not enjoyer, cultivating sentient disliker, if you will. But I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and change my ways today. I'm gonna try and find a love for this champion that I do not like. So what do I need to make her work? I think really the best thing I can do is lean into these torches and try to ping her down for some free cultivates here and there. I think that I need- oh I didn't even look at that guy by the way. Holy shit, I did not even see him there. I was completely blind to that enemy, my god. Yeah, I'm gonna drop pretty low here. That was my bad. I don't think there was anything I could have done. I was just like, I was just going like I was fine. I think I could have saved that too if I was taking the threat a little more seriously. Uh, I was just going. Am I dead? I'm not dead, so it's okay. Uh, subpar opener. I, it, I can make, I, I feel bad because I just did not recognize that damage was happening until he walked up. But, realistically, I don't think there was anything I could have done there. Maybe there was. Maybe there was something I could have done. And th that's the problem, is I'm gonna beat myself up over that. But, er, what I could have done is I could have not taken the trial. But I'm okay with taking 28 for the trial, to be honest with you. Okay, what card do I want here? I want... Next turn draw is a little weaker in this run because I have Cultivating Sentient. Although she's not the 1-2-3 draw of the past. Restoration Detonation is what I want. Almost certainly. Has so many good synergies, yeah. Lock it in. Fledgling Imp is good, but it has a problem in uh, taking Cultivates if it ever lives. But if it ever lives, I guess it has to... It has to tank a hit from Cultivating Sentient, but also, I think it's fine. It synergizes well with a lot of things. These things are not what it synergizes well with. However, I did say I would give Thorned Hollow another whirl. Thorned Hollow into Chase Seraph? I should stop doing this, but somebody stop me is not happening today. What was it? Someone, I think it was, I think it was Hazel who gave me some secret sauce here, which is... Thorn Hollow infused with Branded Warrior. It's the Slay Rage. I think that I would rather look for Animus of Will or Husk Hermit or Shattered Shell here. Yeah. That's correct. Plus 10, minus 1. Husk Hermit or Animus of Will. Which one do I want more? I prefer Animus of Will here with Thorned Hollow, or with a Cultivator, I should say. With a Cultivator, I prefer Animus of Will. Kind of want to play Husk Hermit, but no, it's definitely Animus. She's going to chunk heavies for me. And we're going to go for plus 10 Restore. Honestly, plus 10 minus 1 Restore seems fine. Remove Consume, I'm okay. I'm okay with the rest. I do want to click this artifact. I really do. Will I take 12 in the next combat? I have two units. You know what? I'm gonna click it. I've earned it. It's 100% it's a winged indulgence take here. No doubt. No chance it's anything else. Faulty loader into revenge stuff? Uh, no. Hey, this trial's free. I'm, I'm playing very aggressively for someone who ate 28 in the first combat, but this trial's free. I have Thorned Hollow. This is a freebie. Don't you worry. Oh hey, my animus just killed herself, by the way. 
maybe this trial is not free. I mean, if I if I die after saying this trial is free, it is hilarious and also very unfortunate on my part. I have Thorn Hollow though, and I feel confident in Thorn Hollow's ability. I have to give Collector, but it's okay. I took the trial. I have to give Collector, but I'm confident in Thorn Hollow's ability to win me this fight. Confident. If he doesn't beat Steel Slate, if he doesn't beat Steel Slate here, this unit is beyond safe. There is no way he loses to this boss. The boss has three, three attack. In no universe. I 100% win this. A thousand percent. It's not close. He crushes it. I always knew you could do a Thorn Hollow. That's my boy right there. I'm done for a Wildwood Sap, I think. I'm gonna win Relentless through Regen. I'm done for a Wildwood Sap. I'm gonna lose my streak to Thorn Hollow again. Oh no. I'm doing it to myself. Oh man. I wish I had picked up a glimmer. Let's take a vent. My brain wants to tell me that I don't need vent because I have Thorned Hollow, but lightening the load on Thorned Hollow is okay. Making him not take like 300 damage on the divinity is good. I'm going left here. I'm taking the health. I'm seeing the steel shaft. It's a plus 25. It's a Thorned Hollow game, baby. He's going nuts. I want to take Rage 7 Animus of Will? Absolutely not. That's really bad, right? Won't he strike Thorned Hollow? I think that's really bad. I do want to give Animus some base stats so she just carries me through this game. I don't think I'm gonna give her a- I'm gonna give her a plus 10. I'm gonna give a multi-strike to Thorned Hollow. I've lost my mind. That is a- that is an I've lost my mind play. A hundred percent, that's an I've lost it. I'm absolute- I'm- I'm unhinged. What else can I say? I've lost my mind. It's a- oh my god, it's a Bramble Lash Thorned Hollow game. Here, give me spreading Bramble Lash. Give me something crazy here. Oh my god, spreading Bramble Lash Thorned Hollow. It's too juicy. It's too juicy of a run idea to pass up on. Imagine. Oh my god, it's too juicy. I can't contain myself. I gotta get rid of these sharpens. I have so many cards that need to get tossed from this run though. You gotta make some big changes to fix this one. What I would have liked to have picked up, or what I, the thing that's really devastating here is Chase Seraph, I think. If I just could fight, like, not Chase Seraph, like, any of the other ones would be significantly better. I think I'd prefer to play, oh, wait, okay, two strikes, I almost accidentally took two there. I forgot I have minus one, these guys go to zero. I'd rather I'd rather fight any other Seraph actually. I was gonna say at least it's not diligent, but I'd rather fight diligent. Yeah, I'd rather fight diligent. Face Seraph is just gonna he's gonna devastate my Thorn Hollow, and as a result, he's gonna devastate me. I'll continue to tell myself it's okay, but it's really not okay. I am very sad. Plus one damage. I really, I really contemplated that for plus one damage. I feel like I approach these runs from such a, such a perspective of I'm just gonna send it. Small details like that don't matter. And then I just spent like 10 seconds contemplating plus one damage. Yeah. That's okay. Something's wrong. I can feel it. I can feel it. Something's wrong here. Channel song. I 
I'm gonna click on Awoken's Rail Spike. I'm not clicking Channel Song anymore. Oh, fragile. I'm gonna click Demon Fiend. Is it good? I don't care. I'm clicking this shit. You can't stop me. I've lost my mind. Uh, what upgrade do I want here? I think it's draw. Probably a draw energy sort of run. What am I gonna do with this demon fiend you're asking? What am I gonna do with this demon fiend? If only you knew the horrors I had in store for you. Yeah, well first we're gonna clear two train stewards, and then you can know the horrors. Yeah, I'm gonna infuse it on the Animus. Maybe not that horrific, but you know. Oh god, that would have been bad. It's just, this is a tempo play. I'm not doing this because it's gonna be good on the Divinity. I'm doing this because it's gonna be good in the next, like, three rings, and I don't really need the... I don't have the pack shards for anything else, you know? I think I'm gonna try... God, that's such a bad infusion, though. I think I'd rather not have an infusion on Thorned Hollow. 10 spikes and 15, 15, it's so bad. Why does he have to suffer like this? Why do I have to suffer like this? Probably because I keep picking this unit. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate Wildwood Sap and then be disappointed in it later. This run is very bad. Like, we're doomed. A hundred percent we're doomed. I'm gonna put a plus ten piercing on Restoration Detonation. I'm gonna pretend that's gonna do something. I've put myself into a, just another god-awful position. I'm down for a spell shield here. Just another absolutely boneheaded position I have placed myself in today. And you know what? I love it. I am the fool. Or hollow. I got a decent streak riding on this, and it's a banger of a run. I've been feeling a little bit of the I've been feeling a little bit of the monster train. I don't know what to call it exactly. I've been feeling like a lot of my runs have felt very samey. This run sure doesn't feel very samey. Although it's kinda weird because yeah, it does feel a little samey. I've played this run recently. It lost. It lost real bad. It was not good. But you know what? I got faith in this one. I'm I'm a believer. Comment down below right now, are you a believer? Do you believe? Does Thorned Hollow finally get his day? I believe. I'm a believer. Ensnare is very good. I need to lock enemies in there with him. Bad for Chase. Actually, not that bad for Chase. Impressive Fire Chomper Battering Ram. More like bad Turing Ram. Oh, it's just money on Bramble Lash. I'm gonna... I've been informed, by the way, because I always think about that from in terms of how much money I'll get. I've been informed that... I'm reminded, I guess, more so that the money also makes it free, which is very good for Bramble Lash here. Magic Shop here... I'm feeling a right path. I've been yawning a lot, but I'm really not that tired. Although I feel like I say I'm not that tired and then just make the worst plays of my life, so, you know. Plus 10 piercing again would be good, yeah, I'm on a plus 10 piercing vent. That seems strong. We have to lean into our spells here. We have to lean into our spells here. Bone dog. I think I want Bone Dog. Do I want Bone Dog? I am probably gonna take a lot of fire damage. You know what, Bone Dog? Sure. Get in here, buddy. I always skip Bone Dog these days. Let me take Bone Dog. I don't feel like I need healing all that often, but I think this deck's gonna need healing. Again, Hidden Assault, I'll click the trial. Against a uh, against a different fight here, I would not click this trial. 
Hidden Assault though, kind of free. I think this is the easiest fight on this floor. I'm gonna look for Holdover and Snare, by the way. Yeah, I think this is the easiest fight on the floor, I say, as I break it up. Put this uh, freaking Animus on the middle floor. Miss the Collector. All according to my master plan. Don't you worry. This is all going to task here. What have I done? Oh, buddy, what have I done? I killed my animus. Could have saved her, I think. 20, 33. I could have saved her. I didn't want to. Animus of will doesn't help me here. The only thing that helps me here is... I don't know, this fight's pretty free because it's self-made RP, to be fair. I drew it in Snare. What does it make the whole deck in Snare? You don't kill this enemy? How do you not kill this enemy? You had two turns with him. He killed him on the second turn, I guess, but like, come on, man. What are you doing to me? Oh, saving the sentient there is really good because it uh, stops the healing. And snare. My whole life is... My, my man, my whole life is drawing in Snare on the right turn. And the right turn is every turn. What have I done? That's plus 10 piercing vent. What? Where is my restores? How did I draw all five torches here? That's crazy. Those bonkers. Bananas. We should kill self-made harpy though. How's our spikes? It's only 54? Oh no. Oh no. 63 spikes? I don't know, man. At least he does 15 times 2. Empire gets bonus attack, sure. And snare? Yeah, where we're going, I'm gonna need a lot of these, I think. March of Shields, Imp in a Box, Important Work. Nah. Bramble Lash. Now the run really begins. Okay, so here's our here's our end game plan. You ready? We're looking for we're looking for either of the spike strokes. I'm also looking for. I don't need healing. I don't have anything for drop cage though. I don't have anything for drop cage. Yeah. Skip. Give me a holdover. I'm looking for holdover. Ooh, minus one plus ten on every restore if you let me game. Freeze bone dog. Sure, sure. I have the money. Hold over. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, oh. It is. Oh, it is something here. Fledgling him, get out of my run. Where we're going, we don't need fledgling him. Remove consume double stack on Wildwood Sap is next on the agenda, by the way. I'm down for a value stone. Well, let's look ahead. We should have. I need to take 15, 15, 10, so let's take a minus 2 onto Wildwood Sap, assuming Remove Consumer Double Stack here. And... a go. I have to live Arcus, but after I live Arcus, everything's gonna be alright. Trust. Worthless draw. Uh, sorry. Not gonna play the Wildwood Sack. We're saving it for someone else. Hey, freak you, buddy. How dare you? He took. He took the. He took the restore from my good, hard working Thorn Papa. This is unbelievable. This is an outrage. I'm gonna be so rich from this Bramble Lash with Holdover. Like, holy moly, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna have so much money. 
I need to get rid of about half of these torches. Yeah, I guess it's two free attack on the sentient. Yeah, I need to get rid of maybe even more. Maybe I just get rid of all of the torches. I need this deck to be only healing cards, I feel. That's gonna be like healing cards and Bramble Lash and that's the deck. Is what I'm looking at here. Gotta get rid of these sharpens as well. We have a lot of cards to get rid of. On the bright side, I'm about to come into a lot of money. Look at my boy Bramble Lash. That's that shit I like to see. My oh, man. You know what? This Animus has gained like 20 attack, 20 health from the Sentia. That's not all that bad. I give cultivating Senti in a hard time because I think it's not very good, but it's the best of the worst. I need to ping that damage shield or that spell shield off. This Bramble Ash is gonna cash me out here. This is our payoff card, Bramble Ash. I'm cashing in. Am I dead, by the way? That's extremely... <laughs> Ridiculously dead. Bramble Lash, wait a minute. Hold your horses there, buddies. Am I dead here? Uh... Pull out the calculator for this one. So it's 1058 minus 857 is 201. Five by 45, he's gonna hit me five times, which is definitely death. Okay, I can win this fight. I'm going to win this fight. I know what needs to be done. Thorn Hollow, another nerf to this unit is the fact that Arcus exists. Another, another big nerf to my man, Thorn Hollow, the existence of Arcus. Anyway, I need to keep the Sentient alive. I need to throw healing cards that I did not... I, I didn't throw my heals to the Sentient when I should've, and that's my bad. I just let her die. You throw her like one or two restoration detonations, like I throw her this restoration detonation, and this fight's like ten times easier. Maybe 20 times easier. I don't know. I mean, I know why. It's because I'm trying to make a lot of spikes up here. But at the end of the day, sometimes I have to look away from my Thorn Hollow brother. And I have to go, man. This unit really just is not very good, is he? This unit is a struggle. I believe. I believe in Thorn Hollow. I trust. What are you doing down here, Sentient 15? I'm just gonna throw her the restoration detonations and see if that's good enough. Also want to ping that spell shield off just in case. Eh, 40 damage. I don't need to be playing at top floor, right? They have a little health too, why not, why not? I'm gonna end up with less spikes on my Thorn Hollow, but that's probably okay. As an incant shard down there. I'm ruined. Hey, Arcus, go top floor. I think he has to go mid floor here, but I'd like him to go top floor. I'd love if he eats a Bramble Lash there. Oof, the value. So I'm gonna spend this turn healing the Sentient, I guess. Might as well get 80 damage from Bramble Lashing, too. Why not? Why not get 80 Bramble Lash damage? Yeah, this floor does a lot of damage. Not much more though. 995, I believe that is enough. What was Arcus's attack in the base here? It's gotta be like 25, right? Because I think Fell was 20. Yeah, Fell was 20, so it had to be 25, I feel. Alright, Thorn Hollow, you got this, right? Give me a dub. Oh, my, my man. My, my man. Is it really so grim, brother? 
Is it really? Is it really so grim? I suppose it is. A win's a win. What'd I tell you? I knew I could win that fight. I'm down for Unleash here. I think it's draw. I already took draw. Maybe it's energy. I feel like I need energy though. I'm missing playing torch? Who cares? It's not space. I think it's draw. Is it space? Hold on. Is it space play animus behind Thorned Hollow? She's not that much damage though. She's 43 times 3. That's not enough, right? I don't think that's enough. <laughs> not without the sentient. Alright, I'm gonna go... It's not space. I'm gonna go draw then. I don't think I need the energy, I'm just gonna tunnel all the magic shops and make all my spells cheap. Alright, give me a Spikes Relic payout here. Spikes Relic payout. Petrified Crucible! Hell yeah. Reroll for the other one? Ah, oh, too bad. I'll take Precious Plating. God, I actually just thought about taking Priory's Cloak. I went, well, it's not that bad, right? Get these torches out. I'm gonna think about it a little more. I need to take 15 here because there's money in the next one. Bell chain? Sure. Sure. It's spell chain restoration detonation. You know what I like here? I'm gonna spell chain restoration detonation, then go by light stone casing and give that card a minus one in the next ring. That's what I like here. We'll take Cultivating 3. Couldn't pick Spikes if I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I'm just feeling the hope leave me here. I'm just like, as I'm thinking about this run more and more, I'm starting to feel less and less hopeful. I'm slamming this trial for 400 gold. Invasion trial here. We have we have Bone Dog, the Permafrost. Anyone you walk away from. Oh my fucking god! I rolled the nuts. I rolled the infused Gilded Wings, infused Steel Wings. Turn one. This is the nuts, but not for me. This is the nuts for the enemy. This wave fucks you up. This wave obliterates you. And by you, I mean me. I'm looking at the ensnare target here. I don't think it's the steel wings. What the hell does- what do I ensnare this guy for? So he can make the next wave worse? It's gonna be worse. Yeah, I'm not ensnaring any of that. There's too many variables, I fear. It would have been alright to do the ensnare, but I wasn't ready to take the risk. God, that's a nightmare. I think I'm rooting the collector here, right? Root collector, see what the spike brings. It's a it's a start. It's a living. Oh, I maybe you should just root the steel wings there. Yeah, I think I should root the steel wings, but... How's it looking, boss? Eh, you know. The, the restoration detonation with plus 10 piercing coming in a little clutch. And we get the kill. It's just that easy. Yeah, wow. I'm nuts. I'm absolutely nuts. What the hell? We take those. I... I cannot believe I'm looking to walk out of this one at full HP. I mean, I guess more accurately, I cannot believe I'm looking to walk out of this one without taking a hit. This Animus of Will is doing a legitimate amount of damage as well. I think I should not sleep on uh, Animus of Will here in any capacity. She's looking very strong. With the, like, the sentient animus floor is doing good stuff. It's not doing, like, com completely winning stuff, but it's doing good stuff. 
I should not end this fight, by the way. I could win here. I could definitely play card bottom floor, but I lose 70 gold for finishing the fight. Yeah, look at that value the, the Sentient is giving off. That's crazy. My spikes number is just so low, it's 63? That's pitiful. It's just sad. At least I make a lot of money. I'm taking another Bramble Lash. I've already clicked it. I could click Pyre Grow there as well. I could, so Branding Right is a real card I can take here for Sentient Survivability. I don't need it. Because of Unleash, I think I don't need it, but I could take it. Stick to the plan. Volatile Gauge. No. Although a lot of my cards have minus ones on them. I could just draw 10 per turn. I already draw like per turn though, so I don't think it's that good. I'm getting half value. The Golden Vault Gambit. In a dark hour in our lives golden vault i cleared all the torches instead of, you know what i shouldn't have cleared all the torches i should have left in two so i could ping spell shields off that's a mistake anyway i need to put a minus one on restoration detonation and i'm going to i'm gonna spend a little bit of the money here i'm gonna take a double stack wildwood sap i will reroll yeah i will reroll Hold over. I can see a few options here. Hold over and snare lets me lock an enemy to the top floor. Hold over unleash means our sentient never dies. And what? Like hold over it's hold over unleash or hold over and snare. Could be a holdover event. I think it's holdover and leash. And I'm gonna give that a minus one. I will not go. I will stay. I'm above a threshold right now, right? If I buy Power Stone, I'm going below the 600 health or the 600 threshold. I could buy it and then purge a spikes though. You know what? I'm actually in. I'm with it. Buy a plus 10 for restore. And then we purge a sharpen. That puts me to a nice even 500, which I will buy a lot of things with. Or rather, I will buy, I will gain more money with Bramble Lash, is what I mean to say there. I think that this run is winning. Do I think we win it? That's uncertain. I think this run is winnable. I mean, this run is 100% winnable. Every run of Monster Crane is reasonably winnable. I think that this run in this position is winnable. I don't think this is a lost run. Oh, by the way, I just threw away my, my double stack Wildwood Sack because I completely forgot what I, I took it for. Which was for this fight, if you're wondering. I took the double stack so I could burst regen for Relentless and then forgot. Forgot Chase Seraph. Fuck you, Chase Seraph. I hate you. I cannot let the Sentient die here. I'm gonna play Vent. I have to play Rail Spike first. Oh, Unleash. I had a feeling I had to draw that card soon. Meanwhile, on the top floor. And then we Vent here. No, I Vent bottom. Doesn't matter where I Vent, actually, at this point. At this stage. I wanna try like I wanna try baiting Seraph. Maybe he'll go clear that root. I don't think he can. But I think that root's gonna tick down, yeah. That was a shot though. Having two floors really helps me uh here though. Because I'm I'm going to be losing my spikes a little less frequently. I can also fire off 360 damage. A little more even. I'm gonna fire off this damage into Seraph right now. 480 damage is non non uh, 
negligible. I really wanted to say non-negligent, but that is definitely not right. Very much not what I want to say. Okay, look at Ensnare. Looking good there, boss. Be free. I'll do Unleash down here again. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think if we get past Chase Seraph, this is actually a winnable run. Like, I think we beat the Divinity. I have so much money for the Divinity. And I have three ensnares, like... I'm, I'm reclaiming my belief. I'm starting to believe again. I've come back around on this run. I think this is a W. I think this is a bona fide dub. Believe it or not. This guy would stop robbing my energy. Oh, I got I got double ember or double spikes drained here too. Very gross. Uh I've lost a little faith. I am I'm in my crisis of faith era. It's okay. Uh, we just put up our regens. Bring out your regen. Believe. I believe in Animus of Will. And I really need to kill that 24 times too. Okay. That's 16 as long as I don't spend any energy, which I can't. So, pretty easy to do. I mean, I can spend one. Just don't play the... Come play the Restoration Detonation. The event down here. Oh my god, we win it. Alright, so it's cultivating sentience nuts, by the way. There's no way this unit... It needs a little help, I guess. It needs a little... This is really a cultivating sentient plus animus of will run. But... I'm gonna call this a thorned hollow run. But at the end of the day... Uh, who did 3,000 damage to Seraph here? That's right. Yeah, you got it. Maybe you didn't get it. The answer is not Thorned Hollow, though. Answer is a decidedly not Thorned Hollow. I should sharpen there. But Thorned Hollow takes the cleanup. Oh my god, he doesn't even win this. Thorned Hollow. But, buddy. Oh man. There he goes. He wins it. He wins it. He wins it. <laughs> this unit's so bad. I, I just, I want him to be good. I want to play Big Spike Man. He's just not very good, though. I think that he needs to go to four spikes. It's also, like, I'm asking him to do well in the chase, Sarah. It's a tall order for my boy. I get that. It's a tough ask. I understand. It's like his natural predator. Shout out the Animus of Will Demon Fiend combo, though. Holding it down. Yeah, in this position, I can drop the Wild with Sap with no regrets. Are you scary, Shade Wings? No, he actually... The Shade Wings is not scary at all. I'm going to be ensnaring... I only really want to ensnare top floor. Because ensnaring top floor stops the enemy from... Or it makes the enemy take another hit from Thorn Hollow. Remember to play Unleash on the Sentient this turn. Good job. What? How did Unleash cause this tank to live? It has to be through Cultivate, right? I think it has to be because now one Cultivate misses or something. It has to be something like that, right? I don't know. I That one's beyond me, man. Hmm. This is an expensive hit. An expensive turn, I should say. Fortify. What I would like to do is play Restoration Detonation, but it doesn't do anything, sadly. This is where I go, yeah, it would have been a great idea to keep a torch or two, huh? Good time for a ping on this turn, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Yeah, you got me. You're right. 
I'm wrong. Yeah, it's not that much loss. It's only, what, 25 gold? That's a, that's a small price to pay. And it's not that expensive. This clip reflector is gonna hit me for a little more, but I got the... Actually, I have the restoration detonation. Easy money. Do not want to stack the Inquisitor up with future waves. That does seem suboptimal. Why are you only 30 spikes? How are you only 30 spikes? I high rolled the relic. I know it's plus one per stack, but still. This video is just me screaming at Thorned Hollow, even though I know this unit's not good. I'm just screaming at him. Come on, buddy. You gotta, you gotta show me some life. At least maybe he's done some damage to the divinity. How's he doing to the divinity? He's done 230. Sad. It feels like he's getting his spikes cut. I think I'm just having to throw heals to the sentient and shit. It's okay. It's like the bramble. If I had two bramble lashes, I think it would be actually pretty good though. If I had the if I had the duplicate to grab a second of this bramble lash though. I think it might have been pretty solid. Wait, this doesn't die. Oh, we... Prepare to lock this Inquisitor to top floor for the rest of time. My man's about to spend eternity up here, waiting to die. Every turn where the Sentient isn't dead is a, like, a turn to Wildwood's top floor. I should have thrown her a... a restoration detonation level. That one is my bad. Letting that tank take two hits there was subpar. Bramble Lash. Hell yeah, buddy. Sentient, don't forget to get healed. Good job. I guess leaving her low on HP is robbing Cultivates from... Uh, uh, Animus, technically? Yeah, I guess. It's a weird one, though, because individually, both of these pieces would be failing right now. Like, if I just ran the Cultivate unit, this run would not be winning. And likewise, if I just ran the Thorned Hollow, we would not be winning. And yet, together, we have formed this well-oiled machine that is just gonna take home the dub. This is Thorned Hollow's win. This is it. This run is won. I'm ready to call it. Pack it in. This run's a W. I'm almost certain. I mean, look at that bottom floor. There's no way the Divinity killed that bottom floor. What's the takeaway from this run? It's like, dude, cultivating Sentient 3 is the payoff. This unit's actually good. You just gotta get to the payout. And the payout is cultivating 3. I've been sleeping on the payout card. I didn't know. No, I wanted to root here. I wanted to try and get a full Bramble Lash in. We did it though. Thorn Hollow made it. This is Thorn Hollow's time. He's done it. Did he perform well? No comment. Did he perform? Mm, again, no comment. I think that this fight doesn't happen, by the way. I'm pretty. It looks like Thorn Hollow wins this. 24 regen. Oh yeah, he actually you can regen out the divinity. The divinity has a surprisingly low amount of uh, damage in Relentless. 15? It's 15 sweet, mind you, but it's still 15. You can out regen that. Chase Seraph? Scary. I threw one fight. Which fight did I throw? I threw Arcus, right. By I, Arcus was actually a really important fight, though, because fighting Arcus and losing made me realize how much the Cultivating Sentient does in Relentless. And yeah, I mean, what what the hell happened on this run? How, the, how did this run win? Normally at the end of these runs, I have like a little post-mortem. Uh, one closer to all mastered cards, by the way. I guess in honor we can go look at the three clanless card or three clan cards and two clanless cards that are not mastered. Uh, place your bets. I be I know that the I know this one. I know the Wormkin card. Let's take a look. The Hellhorn card is I think it's Demon Fiend, isn't it? 
Yeah, it is Demon P. This unit is very bad. The Awoken card is Animus of Speed. Mm -hmm. And the Melting, or not the Melting, the Wormkin card is, I know this one as well, this is Kinho's Carapace. Only card that I have not won a single game with in my deck. And then in the Clanless cards, it's Excavated Ember... I won with Gifts. It's Excavated Ember Bone Rattler. How about it? How about it? Anyway, I gotta do... I gotta do a post-mortem on this run. Uh... So, the Sentient plus one is good because the sentient will never die in one turn there's no combat where the sentient takes death in one turn so you can keep her standing for longer and if her plus one is an animus of will with a demon fiend infusion that's a lot of damage right this unit does big boy damage thorned hollow is bad i think that this is a very not good unit because I built my whole deck around him. I got the Spikes Relic. I built the whole deck to rejuvenate him and heal him up. And I even had a holdover Bramble Lash. And at the end of the day, I was still looking at enemies getting away. Thankfully, they did not get away because I had Ensnare. But he's just too slow. He, he takes too long to get going. I think at Spikes 4, this unit is good. And I think at Spikes 3, he's bad. And it's a shame. I want to like him. But I just can't. I think his real problem, though, the, the number one problem I have with Thorned Hollow is he scales in a very unique way, which is gains spikes, right? He scales in this spikes way. There is not an infusion that helps this unit scale. Because you're trying to get him up to a lot of spikes. And I know in this run you could play like Brandon Warrior, right? And then... You get the rage because he's slaying backliners and lets that scale up. But realistically speaking, there is not something that helps his game plan of get a lot of spikes. And he also, because I was playing into regen, he conflicts with restoration detonation because I'm putting up so much regen that he's just full health every turn. Don't play this unit. Play a different unit. Don't just don't play him. But I think there are going to be cases where he's an important piece. Like, in this run, he was an important piece. I feel like in this run, I spent more time thinking about being strong in the right now, too, and not in the later. Like, a lot. usually I spend all my time thinking about being strong in, like, three combats, and I just, I, I focused on being strong in the current combat in this run. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.